Now, the last two times I played here, I'm kind of my driver pattern right now is that push cut. So I got a target that's on the left edge of my normal. I'm gonna go um, right over that T in front. That gives me max dispersion. Feel my feels. We get the ball started left. I mean, I don't know how many times we've played this hole this year, but how often have I been in that rock pile? Like literally every single time? <laughs> oh my God. We got 108 pin, 102 to the front. So I'm gonna go just over that left edge of the cart sign and we're gonna just kind of do a shoulder to shoulder soft gap wedge. Let it go up in the air a little bit, let the wind kill it and see if we can't hit this one close. Yeah, hit it really good, Mary. We'll see if the distance is right. It's gonna sit. So that should be good. I might be a little past the pin. Keep you less on the back there looking. Thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, this is probably 15 feet past the pin. Hit that really good. Now I've been pushing the ball a little bit, so like I'm actively. I was actually feeling like I'm trying to like square that face a little bit at the bottom. Like for me, we just film that, rolling that face down. So when I hit those push shots, I can my face gets a little tear, kind of neutral. I have to like curl that under a little bit. So. New glove, new swing, new me, we're back. So pretty good, first hole, direction was solid. I probably went, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yards by, so I had 110, I hit it 117. I was playing the wind maybe a little bit more kind of than normal, but not bad, downhill putt. There's a false front here, like I could literally putt this off the green pretty easily. So I'm like 20 feet from the hole, I'm not at all thinking about making this, right? The reality is I'm gonna try and get the speed right, die something down, let it trickle down, and tap in. If it goes in, it goes in, which means that I'm gonna try and die it in. I'm gonna play a little more break than normal, allow that to kind of curve a little. It's gonna be downhill right to left. I got a spot about halfway I like. I'm gonna just try and funnel this down. If it goes in, cool, but avoid putting too far past it. I got a spot a little bit short, feel out the speed, give myself a tap in. So I really felt like I kind of dived it in. I think if that didn't hit that little thing halfway down, that might've been in the hole. So we'll take that, that's good. Far on the first time we'll go. And like that, when I go play, like a lot of, you know, the reality is a lot of people go out, they don't warm up, they don't hit balls in the range, they get to the tee, they're in a rush, they're on the hole first, like that hole, overcut the drive, good second shot, two play, make a par and move on from there, you know? So do the first couple of holes, just get out there, middles of green, play conservative, get your two putts, the worst thing is hitting you know, bad shots in the first hole or three putting and get off to a bad shot. So just like uber conservative in the beginning is the goal. Okay, so par three, 160 to the pin, pins up front. I got a bunker left and a bunker right, but, but a lot of room left of the pin. A little into the breeze, pretty level, um, but I think the breeze is probably adding on about five yards. We'll call it about a half a club. 160 playing, 165. It's 165 to cover the bunker, so in case I pull it, I wanna make sure I carry past that. Again, pins up front, falls front, so I don't wanna to be too far past the pin. I'm gonna play it at 165. 165 for me is like a like juiced eight iron, so I'm not gonna do that. My seven iron goes 175, so I'm gonna play this 165 and take 10 off. I hit that about five feet left of where I wanted. If I got the club right, it should carry the bunker and be good. I don't know if that carried or is short. You probably couldn't tell with the camera either. So we either have about a 25 foot putt, or we got a chip shot with the green to work with, should be an easy to no big deal. It's a little bit tricky with where this pin is, with this false front here. Because if you get it too low, it's gonna run off. But if you're too high, you got a downhill putt. It's a little bit tricky. So now I'm looking at my lie. I'm looking at the situation and figuring out what kind of shot I want to hit. Right, so I got no, I can't believe it's that short. I got nothing, my lie's fine, it's tight, but it's fine. So now I'm looking at what do I want to do? Do I want to do a sand wedge, carry it on the green, lay it short, bump and run? I could do a nine iron and do a bump and run, but I don't know how it's going to bounce through this stuff. If this was like perfectly manicured like country club, I might do a little nine iron and roll it up there, but I don't know how it's going to bounce out there. So I'm going to do a sand wedge. All right, so that's a, that's a good scenario. Like I hit that basically right where I said, 
and the ball probably went 10 feet past the pin. Ball came off how I wanted, it didn't grab it all like I thought it would, so misjudgment. Like I hit that, per perfectly executed that compared to what I wanted, but my spot was too far with that kind of trajectory. See like from here too, when you look at it, where the pin is, it was 165. You got a mile back behind the green to work with. Like 165 to the pin is probably 160 to the front, but you got like 85 to the back. So I really had a lot of room. You know, when you look at a pin from here, compared to the tee box, you look at kind of what it looks like from the green, it's always so different to look at. But if I'm 30 feet by at this downhill putt, I got putt right off. It's almost one of the scenarios where a little bit shorter is better. But let's see if we can roll one in. Now there's another putt where like, this, it's drastically downhill right to left. The greens are kind of firm and fast. You can see how dried out it is. So this is gonna be like a trickle putt, right? I gotta just kind of get this thing started. Easy to roll it four feet by. So I'm gonna play a slower kind of putt, softer, and play a higher break. Like if I was going normal trajectory or normal speed, I might aim kind of in here, but I'm gonna go really slow. So I'm gonna probably go out about that far and just see if I can kind of die it in the top edge. So if it doesn't go in, it's only gonna roll a little bit past the hole. So I'm gonna go high and soft. Ooh, okay. See, but if that didn't go in the hole, that's, I'm chipping it there. Yeah? That's a tough putt, because if you throw it up so high and soft, that's a tough one. All right, par five, 500 yards, gettable in two, pins down the right side, so I'm gonna try and go fade off the left edge here, let's see. And I overcut it a little bit, that should be okay. All right, let's go see if we can get there. Okay, second shot, 215 to the pin, pins in the back, 200 to carry the bunker. So I'm going four iron, about 30 feet left of the target here. Let's see if we can get this all the way there. Ooh, he hit it good. He hit it good. Let's see if it holds on that line. Sit. It's the downfall of the gym there. That was like a 225 four iron. Maybe a little bit of a flyer lie. Mm. Man, ain't that good. So we flew way too long. I got about 20 feet flop shot, short-sided. I'm gonna try and go about 15 feet long and left. Give myself a birdie putt. Okay, I hit it really good, let's see. That's about as good as I could do from here. I flew it a little bit long, but probably about a 20 footer, but we'll take that from there. So we got about 30 feet uphill right to left, just about matching line and speed, about a foot out to the right of the hole. Perp. Perp. All right, good putt, a little short. Not a bad par after that third shot. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, do us a favor, click the like button down below. Click the notification bell, also please subscribe if you haven't. Another reminder, every Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are live here on YouTube for Rapid Fire Golf. Would love to see you guys there. Thank you guys.